Now I know why young girls feel out about um, the Beatles. I, I did the same thing when Ali came to town. Only thing about it, I didn't pass out. <laughs> I didn't pass out, but I was one happy camper. For me to be feet away from him as he passed through downtown was amazing to me. It just it just kind of blew my mind. They kept bumping up against me and I would bump up against the car. Bump up against the car. So finally he turned around, he looked down at me, he smiled, and then he reached down and pinched my cheek. <laughs> when he pinched my cheek, I said, that's good enough for me. One thing that inspires me a lot about Muhammad Ali is how outspoken he was, even when um, he was persuaded to not be that way, he felt a strong conviction to always speak truth to power. And he inspired individuals to let them know that uh, that you could uh, stand up for what you believed in. My grandmother loved Muhammad Ali. The only thing she wanted to know at the end was did Ali win? <laughs> Meeting Ali was uh, it was it was up there. As a matter of fact, uh, I still have his picture. Uh, where I met him on my wall in, in my office. It was extremely important because it's always important for our students to be able to see someone who looks like them, who has accomplished something in life, who has a positive life, and he was definitely known for that. I've been to several uh, historically black colleges and nobody has been able to surpass what I've seen at UAPB at homecoming. Homecoming provides an opportunity for us to reconnect with each other, both with our classmates and my former students. I have an opportunity to meet so, see so many students who remember me and I may remember faces and don't remember all the names. It also gives us an opportunity to see and talk about the accomplishments that the university has made since the time that we were here. Family reunion, that, that, that what it's what it actually means. It's a family reunion. Get an opportunity to uh, rekindle relationships. When I was elected Miss UAPB, I, I mean, my mind was blown. Growing up, I was never a pageant girl. Um, I actually made fun of pageant girls. But when I came to UAPB, it meant more than just a title to me. And so when I had the title, I felt like I could um, really make a difference um, in, a, in a greater way. And then to win the title of the number one Ebony HBCU campus queen. I felt like that was great for my university as well in the HBCU world to let them know that UAPB is here. We are still kicking in the South. It's the time for those that, that, that receive much from the institution to give back to the institution. And, and that's what makes homecoming special to me. The most enjoyable moment and in, in my life, especially doing any homecoming, is to have the, the greatest to come back and help put the University of Arkansas at Pine Bluff on the map. For him to come to this campus multiple times, I think also speaks about what the mission of this university is and how they want to develop students who will also carry that torch when it may not be popular to do so. And that's definitely what my university did for me. Coming to a small environment and seeing people that were just like you, who had a genuine concern for your welfare, not only as a student, but as a person, uh, uh, they were able to give you that confidence that you could succeed, even when you didn't even have all the resources available that you needed. 